If you're a sprinkle lover, then this is the recipe for you. It's my favorite Funfetti cupcake recipe with tons of rainbow sprinkles. It's gonna make you smile just looking at them. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and today we're working with one of my favorite ingredients, sprinkles. I love sprinkles so much, I have an entire wall in my office dedicated to sprinkles. So this recipe is one of my favorites. It's a Funfetti cupcake. It's basically a from scratch cupcake filled with sprinkles and topped with a delicious buttercream frosting. It's so good, it's perfect for a birthday or for any time you feel like cupcakes or you can change up the colors of the sprinkles for any holiday or any occasion. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. This is my classic yellow cupcake recipe. Super easy to make. Um, I start with melted butter, but you can also substitute oil. And if you're trying to keep these completely dairy free, you can also substitute the buttermilk with a combination of vinegar or lemon juice and non-dairy milk. I've made this so many different ways. I've even used gluten-free all-purpose flour in these cupcakes. So pretty much it's a really versatile cupcake recipe. Now I've started with one cup of unsalted butter that I have melted and I mixed in one and a half cups of granulated sugar. And now I'm mixing in four large eggs, one at a time. Then add one teaspoon of vanilla. Then we're gonna whisk our dry ingredients. Half a teaspoon of salt with three teaspoons of baking powder and two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Then you're gonna add the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients in three additions, along with one and a quarter cups of buttermilk. Mixing between each addition. Now again, you can use non-dairy milk if you want, just add a teaspoon of vinegar to add that buttermilk tang. Be sure not to over mix, just mix these a little bit each time you add the flour and buttermilk. And once you're all finished, just mix it until the mixture is combined and there's no excess flour. Now that we have our batter, it's time for the sprinkles. And this is my favorite part. Um, I'm using Rainbow Jimmies today. You can use any color. I highly recommend using um, Jimmies instead of Nonpareils or Quins or any of that. Sometimes those tend to dissolve. Um, Jimmies should hold their shape. Also, not all sprinkles are created equal. Um, don't buy like dollar store or dollar bin sprinkles. Those are gonna dissolve in your batter um, more than like a name brand would. So I would stick with name brand when you're baking with sprinkles. Once you have your sprinkles all mixed in, go ahead and portion these into your muffin cups. This is gonna make 24 cupcakes. I'm using liners today and I'm using my one quarter um, cup scoop to measure out my cupcake batter and then you're gonna bake these at 350 degrees. Now that the cupcakes are in the oven, it is time to make the frosting. I'm just using my basic vanilla buttercream. It's super simple to make, and it is absolutely delicious. Now, you can frost these cupcakes however you want. You can just use a knife and frost them. You can use a piping bag. I love using a piping bag with a 1M tip. It's a large star tip. That's a Wilton 1M. Um, I just love the large star look. Um, it's the same one you'd use to make rosettes. So you can make rosettes on top of this, or you can pile it high with frosting. That's what I love. Frosting is delicious. Um, you can use do anything you want. I just think that that star tip with that nice piled high frosting looks really pretty, especially with you, when you sprinkle it with some extra sprinkles. And that's it. Look how pretty they are. These are super fun. You can't help but smile when you look at them. These are also really, really good. They taste nice and moist and soft. This is one of my favorite cupcake recipes. Leave me a comment and let me know, are you gonna use rainbow sprinkles or what color would you use? And then keep watching for more dessert recipes.